What's up, everybody? This is Parker from the Fast Foodies, and I'm back with another international snack review. Today, we're going to be trying out a snack from Czech Republic. Why the Czech Republic? Well, I am lucky enough to have a mom who was born and raised in the Czech Republic. Her family still lives over there, so whenever we go visit her family, my grandmother, my aunt, my cousin, me being the fast foodie snack lover that I am, try to pick up some interesting, unique snacks over there that I normally wouldn't be able to find here in the United States. So if you want to see more reviews of international snacks, then make sure to hit that subscribe button. But I'm sure you guys are all just dying to know what snack we're going to be trying today. Well, if you didn't read the title, that is. But the snack we're going to be trying today is Tofik. And now from the packaging, this looks remarkably similar to a Stroopwafel. And I love Stroopwafels. Do you guys love Stroopwafels? Let me know in the comments down below. That warm caramel filling surrounded by that crunchy waffle-like, I guess like biscuit or cracker. Mmm, those are delicious. But I think it's time we find out if it tastes like a Stroopwafel. This is what it looks like. It does look remarkably similar to a Stroopwafel inside look there doesn't seem to be too much of a filling in here we'll see if i can taste the filling though so it's definitely a bit less sweet i'd say than the classic stroopwafel that comes from i believe it is Amsterdam, I want to say, that makes the original Stroopwafel. Let me know in the comments down below if I'm mistaken, but I think Amsterdam is where the original Stroopwafel comes from. And I've had a few of those, and this is definitely, as I was saying, a bit less sweet. There isn't as much of that filling as I'm used to. However, that might just be, you know, the classic Stroopwafels, you're supposed to put it on top of a cup of coffee or a cup of tea, and so then that steam coming from that hot beverage actually softens up the inside, not just the inside, but the outside and the inside of this Stroopwafel. And then it makes it softer, but it also helps bring out the sweet flavor, I believe. And so maybe if I put this on top of a cup of coffee or hot chocolate, mm, boy, that would be delicious. A Stroopwafel and hot chocolate, I think I might've come up with the next great thing. <laughs> but as I was saying, yeah, I think this just needs to be heated up a little. Maybe then that sweet flavor would come out a little bit more. But as is, I'm going to give this a 7.5 out of 10. Just not quite sweet enough for me. And I think I'm going to stick to my OG Amsterdam Stroopwafels. If you're ever in the Czech Republic, I definitely recommend checking out some classic. Oh, my favorite Czech dessert has to be, this isn't necessarily a candy, so to say, or a snack. It's strawberry filled dumplings. My great grandmother makes them. Oh boy, are they delicious. They're these dumplings topped with strawberries, melted like warm strawberries, then powdered sugar, loads of butter, more sugar. Oh man, oh, those are good. But <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you did, appreciate a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And if you want to hear more, check out Fast Foodies Podcast on Apple Podcasts and Spotify.